It's the Full Force News Burst brought to you by General Joe's Reborn.com with me, Diagnostic 80. Despite the rescheduled May 2021 date, New York Toy Fair has been officially cancelled. The saga continues for New York Toy Fair. Firstly, the February 2021 opening was cancelled only for a new May date to be revealed not too long following the cancellation announcement. However, due to literally zero let-up regarding the pandemic, the Toy Association has decided to scrap the New York event completely and instead they are focusing on the October show in Dallas, Texas in 2021. It is a huge shame that the world is in a worse state currently, making the decision a pretty easy one for the association, who laid out their reasoning and plans in the following statement in a press release. As COVID-19 remains insufficiently resolved, the Toy Association has announced that it will not conduct an interim trade show in New York for 2021, which was previously planned to take place May 1st to the 4th. Plans for Toy Fair Dallas remain on course for October 2021, and providing an ongoing mix of physical and digital business opportunities for the industry will be the association's focus this year. Our foremost consideration is the health and well-being of the global toy and play community and setting a clear path forward. We want to provide our exhibitors, retail buyers and the larger toy and play community with certainty on important destination shows and the ability to take advantage of immediate opportunities through our year-round buying and selling platform. As uncertainty about the pandemic persists, the Toy Association remains key into what is possible, concentrating on its digital business offerings, bringing the industry back together in person for Toy Fair Dallas 2021 from Tuesday, October the 5th through Thursday, October the 7th, and looking ahead to Toy Fair New York 2022 from Saturday, February the 19th through Tuesday, February 22nd in a newly expanded Jacob K. Javits Center, which will allow for new exhibitors, new educational offerings, expanded networking opportunities, and more. The statement also detailed their plans for a year-round online platform. Toy Fair Everywhere Digital Market Weeks held throughout 2020 successfully helped toy businesses forge ahead amid the pandemic and brought in more than 3,000 buyers from 60 plus countries, proving the global potential of the platform for doing business despite travel restrictions and different time zones. This February, the digital B2B marketplace will further establish its position as the toy industry's first and only year-round platform, making new business opportunities possible every day. The Toy Association will also collaborate with additional prospective retailers throughout 2021 on virtual private product preview events, which in 2020 created new avenues for nearly 400 toy makers to get their products on the shelves. Yes, it sucks that the event is cancelled, but the reasoning makes perfect sense and I only hope we are in a better place come October not just so that the Dallas show can go ahead, but also to give the Snake Eyes movie a chance in theatres. I also fully expect Hasbro to put on a number of online events themselves in lieu of the event that usually sees the toy and entertainment giant put on a preview show on the same weekend. Whether that will be an invite-only event or available for everyone is yet to be determined. It's a real shame that we won't be able to partake in an in-person event this time around, but it is for the best in the long run, and I just hope that when 2022 comes around I can once again enjoy that particular New York show and Hasbro preview event as I did last year. I will however look forward to the continued online events put on by companies this year, and can't wait to see what new product is being released. I'm off to get this edited and posted, because if I don't, nothing really happens. That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst. Thank you to my awesome co-host, me. See you next time, and as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing, and commenting on these videos, and as always, you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash The Full Force, and if you would like to contact the show, you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback or questions. We have also started a Patreon page, so if you want to see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content, then check out patreon.com forward slash the Full Force podcast or click the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in. Full Force. <laughs>